All right, guys, you asked for it. It's distance to empty challenge time. And right now we're getting ready to do it in this 2015 Ford Escape. So let's roll. So one of the biggest challenges about doing these distance to empty challenges is simply finding a vehicle that either A, has the gas light on or is pretty close to it. So after checking, this was the third vehicle that I checked. This one, the gas light is already on, so we're gonna have to likely put a couple bucks in it to get the light off and then drive it. So once we get that done and stop and grab some lunch along the way, we'll talk about the details of this challenge and of this vehicle. Okay, so the gas needle has come up above the red and right now we're showing 109 kilometers to empty. So it's looking like we've got to do a little bit of driving just to get the gas light on to begin with. So we're gonna grab some lunch and then we're gonna hit the highway. So as we get ready to hit the highway, we'll go over some of the basic rules that we normally do during these challenges. So the first one being, we're gonna keep a constant speed of about 110 kilometers an hour or 70 miles an hour and keep it pretty much to the highway driving because we're not gonna mix in the city driving with that to skewer some of your guys' calculations. The other one is, I tell you a little bit about the vehicle. So this is a 2015 Ford Escape and this Ford Escape has the 2.5 naturally aspirated engine in it. So there's no turbos, it's front wheel drive and it's just a base model. So it should be fairly lightweight and pretty decent on fuel. So you guys can tell me what you think the fuel mileage calculation is going to be in the comments down below and we'll get started with this trip. So cruise control is set. We're doing 110. Let's get to driving. Now guys, as we approach exit 25 here at the Walwig St. Andrews exit, just to give you an idea where we are, we're going to be traveling today from, we're going to be traveling today from St. Stephen, New Brunswick, to St. John, New Brunswick. And all along the way, you're going to hear me refer to certain exits, like exit 45, exit 53, 56, and so on, just as landmarks as to how far we've gone so far. Now, this highway starts at the border of Maine and New Brunswick, so basically at zero kilometers. And as you head west, they start counting up. So, one thing that I guess I failed to mention in the previous little clip there was that as we sit right now, we're at 89 kilometers to empty. The gas light is not on. And we're going to continue driving likely to the last, last exit before we hit St. John, New Brunswick, which is Laurenville. I forget the exit number. It's pretty close to 100, though. And we're going to turn around and we'll come back. Now, when I stopped to put a few bucks into this vehicle, I also filled up a 20 liter or a five gallon gas jug. So having done that, that should, that should no matter where we run out, be enough to get us back home to St. Stephen anyway or at the very least the nearest gas station so we're still driving no sign of a gas light on yet but i'll make sure that i pop in and tell you at what point it comes on So as we drive through St. George, New Brunswick, we are at 67 kilometers to empty. So we are clicking them down fairly quickly. And uh, if you've been watching my channel for very long, you'll know that I've done these challenges in the past. If you're new to my channel, then you can go right here and check out that playlist of all the distance to empty challenges that I've done over the past couple years. And now would be a good time to say, well, if you're not subscribed, Now's the time to go ahead and click that subscribe button and bell notification so that you get notified when I upload new videos. It would be great to have you along and we do a lot of neat stuff around here just like this distance to empty challenge. So 
the next time I check back with you will be when the gas light comes on. Obviously, we're going to know how many kilometers from the time the gas light comes on because the vehicle tells us. Where the real fun begins is when the distance to empty counter says zero. That's when we reset the trip and we start counting the other way. So just like that, as soon as the distance to empty counter hit 60 kilometers to empty, the gas light came on. So we know we've got at least 60 kilometers we can drive, but how much further can we go after that? We'll find out. guys as we hit exit number 12 112 here in Laurenville we're getting just right back on the highway and headed back towards st. Stephen so right now we're sitting at 14 kilometers to empty so it shouldn't be long before our little trip meter tells us we're at zero so I'm gonna do that right now And there you have it guys, we are at zero kilometers to empty. We've reset the trip meter to see how far we can go. And uh, based on the distance that we've put on this vehicle so far, we've probably got somewhere in the vicinity of about 80 kilometers to get home. So I'm guessing in my own opinion that this thing's probably gonna do somewhere around 40 or 50 kilometers. And you guys can do that metric calculation to standard simply by dividing by 1.6. We're going to keep driving and uh, see how long we can go before this thing conks out. I lift you up, proceed to party, proceed to party. So you guys might ask, you know, what do you do besides just drive? Well, what do you do? I crank up the old country music and I start singing. But thankful for you, copyright doesn't allow me to play very much of these songs, so I'll spare you the details. Red Solo Cup, I pick you up. So I just wanted to give you a quick update on the uh, drive here so far and the time lapse. I'm sure you guys are enjoying that. Um, we are 21 kilometers in to this little drive since the odometer told me we were at zero kilometers to empty. So we're gonna keep driving and I'm not gonna check back in with you guys again unless it's like super, super long distance or until we run out. So enjoy some more music and the drive home. Well, that's it guys. It didn't take a whole lot longer for us to uh, run out of gas. Luckily, there's nothing coming. And we've got a uh, guardrail here on the right-hand side. So I'm gonna make sure that I can get off the road. And the uh, gas filler is on the passenger side. So that'll get me off the road quite a ways. I don't have to worry about oncoming traffic. So it just stalled. And that is it. So we are currently sitting at 25 kilometers on this trip at zero kilometers to empty. And just so that you guys know, if you're driving a 2015 Escape or somewhere along those lines with a 2.5 and it's front wheel drive, you know you've got some distance to go before you actually run out of gas. Zero does not mean zero. The engineers always poke a little bit more in there for you. So we're gonna get this thing uh, fueled back up with the five gallons that we've got in the back and head her for home. Hopefully that gives us enough. I think I just passed the uh, highway marker back there at 74 kilometers. So we'll see how far five gallons gets us. Let's get this done. 
So any of you guys that drive these newer Fords with no gas cap and you gotta put some gas in it, you're gonna need this little funnel to depress the lever in there and make sure that you're able to put some gas in it. So just remember. And a huge shout out to everybody who pulled over as I was pumping this thing full of gas. So let's start it up and see if the kilometers to empty has changed. Hopefully five gallons is enough to get us back home or at least to the nearest gas station. Oh yeah. Five kilometers is gonna get us 162 kilometers to empty. We are good to go. So let's get this thing back on the road and we'll close out this video. So guys, thanks for joining along on this distance to empty challenge on the 2015 Ford Escape. You can let me know down in the comment section how close did you come to guessing the right mileage. Don't forget guys, the Car Guy and Six Fan Show every Thursday evening, seven o'clock central, eight Eastern. This week it's on Grant Tommy's page, who is straight six fan. You can head over there, make sure you subscribe to him and uh, click that bell notification. That way, when we go live on his channel, you'll get notified each time we go live. The following week, I'll be back on my channel. We have a special guest, and it's just a bunch of car guys talking cars. If you like that, I hope you can join us. Spread the word, tell your friends, and we have a lot of fun. So stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror, guys. I love you, God bless. If you like these challenges, make sure you let me know. If you wanna see something new, comment down below. Take care, guys.